evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Amelia Marquez. In tonight's news, a Coffee County man is charged in the connection with a shooting incident involving his two young children. The Tennessee House of Representatives voted unanimous, unanimously on Monday to dump the controversial Common Core program. Motlow College's commencement program is set for May 9th. We'll bring you part two of the interview with retiring Traders Bank CEO Benny Garrick, and we'll speak with one of the stars of the hit TV show, The Deadliest Catch. We'll have those stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. It's new car discount season at Stan McNabb Chevy, and we have prices that'll beat anybody else. New vehicles up to $17,000 off. Check out this brand new 2014 Chevy Impala, the flagship sedan, only $20,900. Chevy, Buick, GMC, Cadillac. Stan McNabb has all the new car brands you love in one location. And don't forget, we'll match or beat any dealer's price or give you a check for $500. And check us out online or schedule your service at stanmcnabb.com. Here at Manchester Funeral Home, we know the importance of living and working in our local community because it's those families who we serve during their time of need honorably. We believe in supporting local business and offer only 100% Batesville caskets, the best in the industry and a driver of our local economy. If you want straightforward and fair pricing while working with the people you know, choose Manchester Funeral Home, serving your community since 1932. And pre-planning and pre-funding can be the best gift you ever leave your loved ones. Call us to pre-arrange. Manchester Funeral Home. Our family, caring for your family since 1932. Welcome back. A Coffee County man is facing multiple charges in connection with a shooting incident involving his two young children. Martin Anderson, age 20, is charged with two counts of aggravated child abuse and two counts of reckless endangerment as a result of a March 3rd shooting. That, that was a shooting incident at his home on A Street near the Hillsborough community. Investigators say a three-year-old boy gained access to a 25 caliber pistol and accidentally shot his 18-month-old brother in the head. Anderson was at home at the time of the incident. The child, uh, children's mother was reportedly in jail at that time. Anderson is free under a $10,000 bond. Both children are now in the custody of their grandparents. Common Core Education Standards got a failing grade in the Tennessee House Monday as lawmakers voted unanimously to dump the controversial effort. This is a Tennessee Republican Senator Lamar Alexander works to amend Common Core on a federal level. Common Core Standards for Math and Language Instruction were adopted by most all states several years ago, but conservative critics have characterized the guidelines as an overreach by the federal government. The Bedford County Sheriff's Office arrested Eddie P. Pilkington, age 62, of Shelbyville on Wednesday for aggravated sexual exploitation of a minor. Pilkington's arrest came after a joint effort between the Bedford County Sheriff's Office and the Winchester Police Department's Internet Crimes Against Children's Unit. Investigators from both agencies executed a search warrant at Pilkington's residence on March the 25th and recovered evidence that included child pornography. Pilkington is being held in the Bedford County Jail. Dr. Frank Glass, former president of Motlow State Community College, will address the more than 700 students who plan to participate in the commencement ceremonies held on Saturday, May 9th, according to Dr. Mary Lou Apple, president of Motlow College. The ceremonies will be held inside the Nisbet Center on the Moore County campus. A resident of Tullahoma, Motlow's third president, and is its first president emeritus, Dr. Glass, is a career educator who served the college for 26 years. Dr. Glass was dean of the college before named president in 1987. Under Glass leadership, the college grew from a single campus in Moore County to a multifaceted institution with campuses in McMinnville, Fayetteville, and Smyrna. Motlow's commencement will include two ceremonies with the first at 10 a.m. for nursing students and students who attend classes primarily on the Moore County campus. Second ceremony for those who took classes at the Fayetteville, McMinnville, and Smyrna centers will begin at 2 p.m. Dr. Glass will speak at both. At a press conference held at the Nissan plant in Smyrna, U.S. Senator Lamar Alexander, the state senior senator, spoke with reporters about the U.S. Senate's GO Senate GOP's future plans for what to do about the Affordable Care Act. Let's watch this video from TNReports.com. The first thing coming up is with the, the King-Burwell decision by the Supreme Court. If they decide that in states like Tennessee, 
where people have subsidies under the Affordable Care Act, that that's uh, illegal, then what we'll have to do is address that. What Republicans plan to do is, number one, say, if you like your Obamacare subsidies, you can keep them for a period of time, say a couple of years. And number two, uh, we will attach to that uh, a law that says that states have the right to offer Tennesseans, for example, uh, the opportunity to buy a lower cost insurance that fits their health care needs and fits their budget. That would be our first chance, really, to change the Obamacare law. I, what, if, what if the Supreme Court opposes that? I mean, you're still stuck with where you are. Well, we're stuck with where we are. And, uh, it, it's, it's, hard, it's hard to repeal a law with the word Obama in it when you have a president with Obama in his name uh, in the White House for another uh, 18 months, and it takes 67 votes to override a veto. We can make some changes in the Obamacare law, I hope. Where, uh, for example, we may be able to repeal the medical device tax. There's bipartisan support for that. We may be able to make it easier for companies to provide uh, wellness opportunities for its employees, that is, lower insurance rates if you lead a healthy lifestyle. Um, we may be able to, to change the definition of a part-time work from 30 hours to 40 hours, which would help small businesses and their employees all over the country. Uh, so we'll take it step by step and, and see where we can go. Stay with us. We'll be back in a moment with more News Leader on 6. Let the Smokehouse be your mountain getaway destination in beautiful Monteagle, Tennessee. Enjoy our cabins, restaurant, and old general store. Shop thesmokehouse.com featuring homemade barbecue sauces, jellies, and many other fine Tennessee products. Our live Music on the Mountain series features some of the best local and Nashville talent every Friday and Saturday night, 6.30 p.m. No cover, kids welcome. We are Goody Two Scoops. I love Goody Two Scoops. A family-friendly, yummy dessert specialty shop in Tullahoma, Tennessee. We excel in self-serve frozen treats and our own incredibly tasty chef-baked creations. For frozen treat lovers, we offer frozen yogurt, ice cream custard, as well as gelato and Italian ice. 85 flavors that rotate each day. 55 toppings including fresh sliced fruit. For our baked good lovers, Goody Two Scoops offers a variety of fresh pastries at a hometown price. Our two certified culinary chefs design and create incredible cakes. We showcase our cakes, froyo cakes, cupcakes, cookies, pies, and chocolate covered strawberries offered fresh daily. Lovely. <laughs> Goody two scoops. Welcome back. Benny Garrick, former CEO of Traders Bank, retired last Friday after a long and distinguished career with the bank. Amelia spoke with Benny about his career in the banking business, and tonight we bring you part two of that interview. So, Benny, how has the banking business changed throughout the years? Well, it's changed drastically. Uh, you know, you used to make a note to somebody or a loan. We'd call it a note and they had two places to sign. Now you have to sign about 30 pages. You know, and it's all because of regulations. And uh, a lot of them were designed to protect the consumer. And, and I don't have a problem about that because there were some bankers that were not doing some things right, to put it simply. Uh, but it made it hard on the rest of us that were doing things right to be able to quickly handle our customers' needs. And one other thing that I should mention, or at least one other thing, is uh, computer technology. When I came here, obviously, we, we sent what we call our work off to a computer center and they processed it for us. But as far as us loan officers at our desk, we had some calculators that we bought at Big K and a rate book. And that's how we figured out loan rates and did all that stuff. Uh, so 
turn it over on the back and mm -hmm. write and figure the odd number of days and all that sort of stuff. And now the computers do all that for you if you're so inclined to use them. Uh, technology passed by my generation very quickly uh, in the last few years because uh, we had just not been exposed to it. And most of the people that, that were friends of mine in other banks and other cities are, are no longer in banking. They've since retired. And therefore, I thought it was time for me to retire. I remember when uh, we bought the first ATM, automatic teller machine. Uh, one of the big things that was the deal is to come up with a name for the teller machine. You know, we came up with some name or something, but I, my, I made the comment myself that people in Telahoma won't do business with a machine. Well, it wasn't but a few years later we had more than one machine. So you see, you might be replaced by a machine or something. And of course, uh, you know, since the ATMs have come into being, there's been other changes. There's online banking now where you can get on your computer and look up your balance and I'll do transactions, I suppose. I, I don't know, I don't have those capabilities, but I understand that there's mobile banking coming and. I don't know what that means. Does that mean you bank while you're driving your car? You know, mobile banking doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm just an old student. You've been involved with a lot of civic affairs within the community. Um, what are some of those affairs? And then also, how is that important within Traders Bank? Well, I, I've been a member of the American Legion ever since. I came back here in 1973. In fact, I was a member before then, and went on to become commander of the Legion and uh, involved in all of their activities, including the Big Brothers program, which helps the needy. Uh, been on the Holland Scholarship Committee. I've been a member of the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, been a member member of Rotary for since back in the 70s. Uh, you know, I just think it's important to give something back to your community, uh, whether it be monetarily or physically by participating. And I think those things that you genuinely do are You're associated with traders, so people think positive about traders because of some of those things. So, is there something you'd want to say to your customers and colleagues? Something you'd want to say to them today? Well, you know, I've always gotten great pleasure out of seeing people grow. And through the years, I was able to help some people start up their businesses and grow into rather large businesses. And that is wonderful. That's a good feeling when you've helped somebody get going and they are successful. Uh, and they have been faithful to me and to traders. And, uh, you know, I, I dearly love all the people that I work with and the customers that come in here. And I just hope they'll remember me going out with a smile. Well, I just want to say it's been an absolute pleasure. And on a personal level, working with you, it's an absolute honor to get to know you. I thank you. Thank you. More News Leader on 6 is coming up after these messages. It's new car discount season at Stan McNabb Chevy. And we have prices that will beat anybody else. New vehicles up to $17,000 off. Check out this brand new 2015 Chevy Sonic, only $14,600. Chevy, Buick, GMC, Cadillac. Stan McNabb has all the new car brands you love in one location. 
And don't forget, we'll match or beat any dealer's price or give you a check for $500. And check us out online or schedule your service at stanmcnab.com. The highest standard of integrity delivers stability and honor. It's established over time. You know when you see it. You know when you feel it. There's a standard of integrity in healthcare. It's the Joint Commission Gold Seal of Approval. In 2003, Life Care Center of Tullahoma voluntarily achieved this accreditation and maintains it still today. Life Care, meeting a higher standard because residents matter most. Welcome back. Nick Tokeman, one of the stars of the Discovery Channel's hit show, The Deadliest Catch, stopped by our studios last week. John Gray spoke with Nick about his career. I'd like to introduce to you right now Nick Tokeman. And Nick is uh, one of the people, if you have seen the show on its own Discovery, yeah. The Deadliest Catch. Nick is either Sunshine or Moonbeam. Uh, I can't yeah. figure out which uh, one it is. Sunshine. I sunshine. Guess, yeah. And yeah. Nick is is with us today. Coming, you're coming through from where? From Maine, Massachusetts. How in the world? You're 26 years old, mm -hmm. college graduate. Yeah. How did you get from going to school on a vessel in Alaska? Yeah. Hunting and catching crab. I was uh, I was like 20 years old and uh, I wasn't really happy in college, kind of a thing. I was wasn't doing what I wanted to do and I was at my grandparents' place and they my grandfather introduced me a show on TV. Well, it was Deadliest Catch and yeah. it just looked like fun and I wanted to try it, so um, I just went up there and did it. How does a guy just decide he's going to do that? How do you walk uh, you walk out on a dock somewhere and tell one of the captains? I think you said they're involved in the show. There's what six boats? Uh, six boats um, on the actual uh, on the actual show. Right, yeah. right, but. During crab season, how many boats are there floating around out there catching crab? For crab, I don't, for Apelia crab, there's roughly around like 70 boats in the fleet that are still catching crab. Catching crab. So how does a guy just walk up out of nowhere yeah. because you want to do this and end up being on a television show? Well, actually, I, I went up in Kodiak, Alaska, and um, at first I, I got this um, list of like boats and I was making phone calls you know when I was back in college and nobody would want to hire me I actually just flew up to um, to Kodiak and I just showed up and I started walking the docks and, um, and but with no skills no no you had no boating skills no, no crab catching skills nothing, nothing how'd you talk your way into this deal I just said uh, I I'm a hard worker. I'm, I'm willing to listen, willing to learn, and and that's it. Just give me a chance, and that's all I said, and and it kind of went from there. Okay, so the boat you're on on the show, what's the name of that boat? Uh, actually, this year um, I'm on another boat, but I was formerly on the Northwestern and also on the Time Bandit. When you go out, there's there's how many days you spend out? Uh, it could depend. It can vary. I mean, it could be, you know, it depends on how quick you catch your quota. I mean, it could, I mean, or, or, you know, your catch that time, it could be three days or it could be as much as 17 days, as, depending on how fast you can load the boat, honestly. And, and what's a boat load? Northwestern was a little over 200,000 pounds of crab. 200,000 pounds of crab. As we were discussing earlier, I was asking Nick, I said, all right now, uh, do you make your living as a actor or do you make your living as a fisherman? Fisherman, yeah. I do, we do, I do crab in the fall and winter and um, in the summer I go up to Bristol Bay and I do uh, salmon, salmon fishing. Do you have any, any uh, love interest yet? Uh, no, not, not at the moment. Not at the moment, girls. <laughs> not at the moment. Mm. Do you really, do you enjoy doing this? Is this, or is it something that you just, you just thought, I want to try this and you forced yourself to do it? Or have you found joy in it now though? Um, well, when I was doing it, I absolutely, um, I loved it. Like, you know, it just, it gave me a thrill. Um, it, I mean, I, if I had to do it all over again, I'd do the same thing. It was just, it was a lot of fun. And um, I think it was like the challenge and everything like that, you know, like staying up long hours and just like pushing yourself, you know, beyond limits and stuff. But um, I, I uh, 
now it's starting to feel more like a, like a job a little bit, but uh, I still I still enjoy doing it. Thank you so much for being with us today. Uh, it's just exciting to have someone off of a off of a television show that's yep. on big TV <laughs> to come and visit with us and know that you're always welcome. Thank you. And we'd love to have you come back when you can. We'll be right back in a moment with more news later on six. Are you tired of getting those letters in the mail being turned down for that new car due to bankruptcy, medical expenses, or divorce? Then look no further than Russell Barnett Kia. Good credit, bad credit, no problem. Here at Russell Barnett Kia, we are your bank. Dial 931-455-6066 or visit us on the web at russellbarnett.com. And remember, we are the bank and we can help you. Good credit, bad credit, no problem. Why buy anywhere else? All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. And we're back. The weather finally cleared up and Tullahoma's annual Special Olympics event was held Tuesday at the Tullahoma High School. Channel 6's Andrew Todd spoke with Area 13 coordinator Gary Gazelle about this year's events. We're here today on a lovely day at Tullahoma High School for the annual Special Olympics and I'm here with uh, Gary Gazelle. Gary, thanks for chatting with us. Thank you for giving me a break. I've been uh, running, <laughs> bouncing around, so this is nice just to I, take I a noticed, break. <laughs> I noticed, I was like, it's your, it's your second year, correct? That is correct. Uh, and uh, and uh, they've, they've got you working, man. <laughs> they do. That's, that's what it's all about. But uh, believe me, I'm not the only one working. We've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of volunteers that are making this happen. That's great, that's great. And we were saying earlier, uh, this is ninth, 10th year that you've been involved? I've been involved, been uh, doing a volunteer, did the 100 meter right here behind us. It was the event that I uh, helped uh, uh, run, blew the whistle, started the athletes, and then uh, had the opportunity to uh, get more involved and oh my gosh, more involved as <laughs> it, it is. <laughs> well, that's great. Now, Area 13, how many uh, groups, organizations does that represent? Area 13, Lower Cumberland region consists of five counties, that being Bedford, Moore, Lincoln, Franklin, and Coffee counties. We have over 35 schools participating. We have five adult centers. So we have in our in our registry we have over 1500 athletes that are and our athletes range from eight years old to 77 years old wow that's fantastic and uh again i mentioned the weather we're so used to having <laughs> rain on these days uh, we've been blessed with a gorgeous day today. we didn't even think we know it's been a monsoon but we rain this year never never entered our mind because we knew that we were gonna have we looked 10 days out last year we got wet but uh this year it is. It's been a wonderful, wonderful day. Absolutely. Well, Gary, uh, oh, also I was going to bring up, I noticed you had a couple of large checks you were toting around with you earlier I, today. Uh, that must have felt pretty good. That <laughs> was wonderful. We had uh, uh, Kat Murray from McMurr's did a fundraiser back in February at the Jackson Civic Center. She put on a show. The organization raised $3,000 for us. That was outstanding. And then we also had the Life Care Associates, the folks that work at Life Care, they had a bake sale, a food of the world, and they raised over $1,500. Wow. So we have received uh, just today uh, three, one, five, that's $4,500. That's... And, and it takes, as you see, it takes a lot to, to drive this. But we do a lot, of, a lot more uh, all throughout the year, just not this event. We've got 13 other events that we're trying to get the word out that this is this is our biggest, right. but this is this is just one of 13. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, is there a website or anywhere that people can get information on anything they might Facebook, need? Facebook. We're on Facebook. Uh, Lower Cumberland Region Area 13 uh, Special Olympics TN. And right. if you go to uh, the uh, Special Olympics TN.org, it will take you to our site also. Excellent, excellent. Well, again, I don't want to keep you too long. I know you've got a lot of work to thank do today. Thank you so much. And we I do, appreciate hey, it. Hey, we appreciate it, Gary. Thank you so much. Thank you for stopping out here. The pet of the week this week at the Tullahoma Animal Shelter is a hound mix named Mia, who has no connection or relationship to my lovely co-host, Amelia. 
Mia entered the shelter as a stray and is approximately two years old. She is great with other dogs and children, is up to date on her vaccinations, heartworm negative, and will receive a free neuter provided by the Tullahoma Animal Shelter. Be sure to check out the Tullahoma Animal Shelter on Facebook for upcoming events and fundraisers. Remember, you can help support your local shelter by adopting, donating, or volunteering. For more details, contact Teresa at 454-9580. The Tullahoma Animal Shelter is located at 942 Maplewood Avenue. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> the Coffee County Humane Society Futures Pet of the Week is Kim. Kim is a mature collie mix who needs a loving home as soon as possible. The shelter also has many other dogs available for adoption at 1210 Oakdale Street in Manchester. Hours of operation at the shelter are 7.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m., Monday through Friday. The shelter's phone number is 723-2730. Donations for animal care can be made at the Coffee County Humane Society, P.O. Box 252, Manchester. Their website is www.coffeehumane.org. We'll be right back in a moment with your weather forecast. The wait is finally over. The 2015 50th anniversary Ford Mustang is finally here. This is one awesome vehicle. Let me give you a few stats on this V8 Mustang. 435 horsepower independent rear suspension, 25 miles per gallon, and this is the one you've been waiting for, 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds. Don't blink an eye or you'll miss it. Come by Russell Barnett, Ford of Tullahoma and Winchester and check it out. The 2015 Mustang, the all-new redesign, will leave you speechless. We're losing it, doctor. Not on my shift quickly, brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's gonna be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor, too, when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor, Stat. Serving you as a local firefighter. Proudly served our country in the United States Air Force. Serving Tullahoma. Helping our kids. Hi, I'm Terry Stroop. Your comfort is our service. We'd like to thank Tullahoma for the privilege of serving your heating and cooling needs. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1965 at 86 degrees. The record low was in 1986 at 29 degrees. Average high on this day is 74 and the average low is 50. Tonight, look for partly cloudy weather in your forecast with a low of around 42. 30% 30 chance of storms on Friday with a high of 67 and a low of 56. Thunderstorm still in your forecast on Saturday with a high of 74 and a low of 57. And that's our newsletter report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for Newsleader on 6. You have a good evening. And from all, from all of us on Newsleader 6, wishing you and your families an uh, enjoyable weekend. Thank you.